nice and sunny out today i just posted a video now we're doing another one yeah, just like, this would be my life i would post like like fucking five a week or something like that you know? uh but now that i'm working a job to get a better camera for these videos uh i don't know that much time so hopefully we can record later today but today there's real people out there doing some backyard I, I do train other stuff then fucking chest and shoulders the whole time you know if you guys knew I, I did do that one leg day but it was real real shit i plan on doing probably the next video will be a leg day hopefully because that last leg day was uh, uh, no depth <laughs> oh, no gains but yeah so today we're doing some back the backs are hard hard muscle you know I don't, I don't actually know what it goes on with it because you know I know about my shoulders, my chest, but the different parts of my shoulders, and chest. That's simple. That's baby knowledge. But, but the back, there's like all these different things. Uh, uh, I lose count. I mean, I, I lose. Tr I've run a pre-workout now, as you can see, and you know, so you're going back to caveman times. So, you know, apple flavor. I don't know what. It's green. So green means apple or apples are red. That's what I would take. Is apples but I'm going to do deadlifts, but I'm not recording deadlifts because fuck deadlifts. I can't do deadlifts because it's my back's my back was injured going slowly into it now i'm doing like see everyone's like you gave me a laugh ha, 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 look at this guy you know he looks he looks all right he, but he's only deadlifting 60 yeah no it's pathetic there's a spider web where's the spider web right in front of you Later in this video, I'm gonna uh, talk about, you know, because I needed a topic for the video. I, I saw a, a flipping TikTok from this guy, uh, TNF or something, I don't know what it stands for. I think it's like Tiny Nutrition Fitness or whatever. I thought, you know, he was talking about pre workout meals. I thought, you know, I'll, I'll talk about my perfect pre workout meal. So, probably on the drive here, I can do about it. You need, so in terms of when I'm talking about pre workout, I'm talking about more than just food. I'm talking about stimulants you know uh pump products you know all these other things let's talk about food you don't really want to digestion plays a huge part into it so you don't want to eat things that slow down your digestion so protein you know it's hard to break down it'll slow down your digestion fat especially uh maybe you can have like a high fat meal if you're bulking or something like quite a bit before gym like three four hours but you know below that uh, uh, you're playing with fire you, you want to have like quick absorbing carbs like rice or stuff like that you too you'd have to search them up uh, that's how i do it you know and before right before gym with good great food is extremely fast absorbing stuff like cereal you know you know any cereal is fine so there's your carbs i don't know your carbs i think google said like one gram of carb per kilogram of body weight i think uh I'll, put up on the screen if I'm right or not or if I'm speaking shit cool I am talking to the editor which is uh, myself yeah. I think energy plays uh, calories play a lot to it but you know don't just eat food for calories I think you'll just get those calories from carbohydrates and high carbohydrate foods are high calorie another tip is electrolytes Potassium, sodium, and magnesium. You know, sodium you can get from salt. I, I take a fucking like two teaspoons of salt per, or almost a tablespoon. Probably not almost a nah, not a tablespoon. But a lot of people, I don't know. I say I've been seeing people. I think Noel said something. He was like, "Oh, you know about uh, you'll have a heart attack, or, or it's just fucking bad for you if you have too much salt or sodium and shit like that." I don't know. But some people are like, "Ah, oh, it's fine. You'll you know these guys." Potassium, I know there's potassium in like bananas. You can find these stuff in, yeah. you know. It increases your blood pressure. We do not care. Uh, I don't know. That's why my dad has to have low salts. Because he's on blood pressure medication. Well, let's hope you guys don't end up like her dad right here. So. Potassium, I know potassium is in... Uh, you know some uh, foods like bananas. I think it's in, in 
potatoes or something. So potatoes are good to have like at night to refill your electrolytes. Electrolytes, you can get them from, you know, fucking Powerade or whatever you drink. Monster actually has an electrolyte drink now. Monster Recover. I don't know who takes an energy drink to recover. You know, I think you just, if you slam like 300 milligrams of pre-workout, I, I, I think you should relax, bro. I think you should just like lay off the caffeine now, not drink another Monster. You're not feeling your caffeine, right? You know, the move is to just drink more, bro. To just drink more, then you'll feel it more. So heart transplant at the age of 23. Uh, <coughs> Okay, the most fucking important thing, which is actually more important than everything, more important than food, I forgot to mention, is fucking water. Uh, you should research. I, I, re I remember going on like an hour looking on Reddit and shit like that, at, like how much water I should be drinking a day, and, and I, I found out like six liters. I think because because I'm waking up so early and I only have an hour to prepare for gym. Um, and I don't want to be too full. I normally just drink a liter before gym. When I have more time, I normally drink two liters because two liters, you know, I think that hydrates me the best. I think most people in my body weight should probably drink two liters, you know, before gym. It doesn't have to be right before, like, oh, I'm going to gym now, let me, let me chug two liters. No, I'm talking about like over time. So that's water. Just drink it, you know. It, it, it's kind of one of the things that uh, we live on. So we were put on this earth. And we would be like sitting, you know, uh, I'm fucking hungry, you know, Tarzan fucking shorts and, you know, in the bloody stone age. And then we'd see an animal and be like, there's food. And there weren't that many, you know, food was rare. Sometimes you only eat like every now and then. Now we we can get food. We can have water anytime we want. There's a fucking tap, turn on, turn on the fucking tap, bro. So I'd say take advantage of that. Drink as much water as possible. You know, your body is like, uh, we're not supposed to have as much. So now you're just going to be overly hydrated. You're going to be, obviously don't don't take too much because then you're just going to, I think people say you, you drown. So don't drown. That's not optimal for gains. You know, as I say, you know, dying, I've said it before, I've said it again, you know, your bench decreases by 100%. So that's already quite bad, you know. The squat, deadlift, everything, you know. You can't even walk to the gym. Can't even walk to the gym, let alone pick some fucking weight up when you're dead, dude. So that's that's an L, so don't don't do that. So no drowning. Uh-uh. Okay. So we cover water, carbs, electrolytes. Hmm. You know, showers play a role, you know. I think you should have a cold shower. Everyone's like, oh cold shower after gym. You know, that's what because you're all hot and sweaty, you know what I mean? Because I just I just fucking lifted, you know? And now I'm tired, I'm sweating. I, I want to cool down. You know, I'm a bloody, I'm a bloody elephant in the Sahara Desert. I want to go into the, into the water on a cool down. But no, that's, that's not the move. The move is to have a hot shower. I'm oh, shower, a warm shower. Um, because when you have a cold shower, your muscles are like, like, it's time to fucking lift now. Okay. So now when you, when you fucking finish your flipping, your workout, you come out of there, you're like, oh, your muscles are like, oh, I'm so tired. I just want to rest. I just want to. I just want to. I just want to build muscle. I just want to recover and, and rest. Now, now you're fucking putting wa cold water, in, like you know, just because you you feel a little bit warm. So that's not. So that's not what you're gonna do. You're gonna take cold showers before, and warm showers after. You know, and those pussies are like, I just take cold showers every day. This, this is the hardest part because you're not gonna get used to the fucking cold water. You're gonna be cycling on and off. You know, you're gonna be in the warm water like that. Then you're used to the warm water, then you get a cold water, huh? You know? So, if you think you're being a pussy for that, uh, you are highly mistaken. It's actually the other way around. Obviously, it's a good pre workout, you know? Uh, caffeine, if you really want to have coffee, have coffee. I don't like, I don't know. I feel, when I have coffee off before a workout, I fucking, till the last exit, I'm like, hey, I don't want to do this shit. You know, air drinks, I've been living off of these for like a week. Uh, those are fine, you know? Uh, there are some that are like, you know, 200 milligrams, um, you know, 300 milligrams. I've just been having monsters. I uh, don't have the sugar ones because I feel like sugar carbs are not good because you're going to be like a sugar. Huh? Yeah. And sugar is very bad for you. Get your skin fucked. You just feel like shit. Uh, avoid sugar. Just get the zero sugar ones, dude. Uh, if you drink Red Bull, uh, fuck you. I think I've covered the base. Sleep. Eight hours. Get your testosterone nice, okay? Seven hours at the min. If your oaks are sleeping at like six hours a night, dude, 
do like don't even eat protein or something like that because fuckles happen. Okay, maybe not fuckles. Huh? That's bad. I think maybe you're build, still building muscle with six hours of sleep, not as effectively, but your testosterone levels are going down, and that fucking fucks up your muscle building. So going into the gym now, uh, get a good fucking pump, get a good bicep pump. Um, I'm, I'm gonna train abs later. Good enough. Oh fuck! I have to train abs later. Are you kidding me, dude? Probably, you know, I, I've been actually excited to train legs, dude. It's crazy, you know. Like, I'm, gonna stop, I'm gonna stop talking and go fucking lift, you know. I'm not one of those, you know, those skinny like little kids on on TikTok who flip and pose and they're like, no, 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 you know, with the NPC audio and then they fucking they they lift like their person lifting video every five years or something like that. I'm not one of those people. I need to go lift, but I'm gonna do deadlift. Light as fuck. I'm not gonna show you guys because I'm embarrassed and there's no point. Uh, but. I'll see you guys at light pull downs. That was a good gym session, yeah. Um, we back, it was fucking long. We were there for like two hours. You know, I don't, these days, uh, I uh, gym before work. And I mean, I don't get that much time at the gym. So now, um, just, you know, it was it was good, you know, having like a really nice long session. Now we're heading to McDonald's because my girlfriend's hungry and um, she needs those calories. Uh, my next video, I think I'm gonna do a leg day. McDonald's was a no-no because Taylor wanted a uh, egg McMuffin, but they were no. They were like, ah, no, sorry, half past ten. Um, we do not sell after half past ten. So I, no one, I don't know that. I don't understand McDonald's business, dude. I don't understand the business of fat people. You know, I. I used to, but nowadays, you know, I, I feel like the market's changed and I'm not, Are you, you know, I was thinking like, I need some clothes, bro. I need some clothes. I mean, if you guys have seen what I wear, you guys will know, bro. It's not, it's not, it's not good. It's not good. I, I wear, I wear bullshit clothes, dog. I look like a homeless person. Maybe I need to be sponsored by some sort of clothing brand or something. Like that. One day when I'm actually like got some followers and shit, because right now, hey, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, if you if you're still watching, I uh, thank you, I uh, thank you, thank you, for, thank you for watching this far. Eventually, when I stopped about uh, working this fucking ninety eight, ninety five, I'll I'll um eighty five. I'll, I'll put, push out some more videos. I have a good camera. Video quality is gonna be a lot higher. I need a mic, and mics are not fucking cheap. Dude. Just thank you guys for watching. You know, it means a lot to me. You know, hopefully. Eventually this shit can start paying off. I'm gonna keep trying my best. I just need, uh, I listened to a podcast with Mr. Beast. He said, the only way to grow is just, unless you're fucking lucky as shit, which I'm not, obviously. Um, you just keep pushing videos out. I'm gonna come up with some more, like, videos that you want to watch. I have a plan. Um, my plan is, once I bench 140, I'm gonna, I'm 
gonna go on a cut, but I'm not gonna look at my body at all. I'm just gonna like wear vests and watch my weight, and then maybe like I'll shower up blindfolded or some bullshit like that. And that will be just like a challenge. So that fuck, this road is fucking shit, dude. So that when I actually look at my body and shit, this golf could go fucking to look at my body and shit, then I'll, I'll be like extremely surprised. It'll be like I took gear. And now, you know what I mean? So thank you for watching. Um, that's gonna be the plan, cut and shave when I bench 140. Uh, new video uh, next weekend, uh, if I'm not fucking lazy. Uh, follow my TikTok, follow my Instagram, in the description. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.